What's up my fellow subscribers and all my YouTube watchers, told you they couldn't hold me down. Um, I'm back again with another, uh, it's not a review, but it is a tutorial on how to do the um, 11 uh, tag removal. Um, I am going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you the materials. It's so easy, a caveman can do it, as you can say. Um, this is my third video today. Um, so I'm just going to ask my last one for right now, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it. First of all, you can use anything sharp you want to use, but this is the three things that I use. I use elementary school scissors. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Hold up. I use a nail filer and I use big scissors. First of all, when you're going to remove your third uh, tag and readjust it, take your shoestrings out. Uh, don't leave them in because they'll get in the way and you don't want to accidentally cut your shoestrings because then you'll be really mad. So undo them, take them out, throw them on the floor, whatever. Take your baby scissors, open them up. I'm going to show you what to do. Even though mine doesn't have the uh, stitching in it, you can still look at yours right now. Pause the video, go get yours and do what you have to do. You find the first stitching hole, get underneath it, pull it up. It's going to pop. Um, it happened on all my 11s. I've fixed all my 11s so far. And once you get it going, just keep on going like that. Keep on, just keep on popping it up. Just keep on popping, just keep on popping, keep on popping. And then when you get to the edges like this, if you want to, you can take your big scissors, go underneath them, and cut up. But don't cut short, so when you put it back on, it's short. That's what I did. It made it the easier way. So when this is all the way peeled off, you flip it over to the back and you can just start pulling the stitches out just keep on going keep on going keep on going keep on going and then after a while all this will be pulled out and you have to do the top also and once you get that pulled off it's common sense you know when you get it going you'll pretty much see what I'm talking about uh, it's not as hard as I'm pretty much describing it uh, just pick all the string out just keep on pulling the edges going it won't mess up your shoes. You'll have little holes in here, but if you want to, get an iron with no water. No water. I, I'll say it again. No water. And you can put your hand inside if you have a thick tongue. Don't do this with a skinny tongue because you will burn your hand. But if you have a thick tongue, iron your shoe, and I take out the little holes for where the stitches were. Um, mine had holes, and I chain, I, I ironed it so then when I put the tag back on, you couldn't see it. But anyway, do that take um I use nail glue at first as in the nails that girls press on their fingers with don't use that because when you use that that thing sticks there's no getting that off like right away so excuse me I end up using the hot glue gun and that worked out pretty much good for me but I'm gonna show you again one last time oh and the nail follower if you want to use a nail follower you can um I know this might be uncomfortable for some people so you can use your nail filer and do this, especially if it has a sharp point like that. But anyway, just hold up. I'm sorry, that's a bad angle. Like I was saying, just pick, pick, just keep on picking a uh, little shoestring, man, not the shoestring, the little uh, stitches up. Keep on picking them up, and after a while, you'll get used to it. So on by the time you get to your second shoe, you should be a pro with it, and you shouldn't have a problem. But when you go and um, about to put your tag back on. Put your shoelaces back on before you even put the tag on. Pull the tongue up, stick it down, put the glue on the back, and actually put the tag on while your shoelaces on. Because there's nothing worse than putting your tag on and your shoelaces back on and it's still messed up. So the way I did it was, uh, it will come off your shoelaces if you use super glue. So don't worry about it. It will come off. Just have a wet towel next to you. But go ahead and put it on while the shoelaces are on. And as you can see. That's a that's a perfect tag. You're not moving that, no matter how much I move that. Um, the only thing is when you glue tag, the corners might not stick for whatever reason. It's just that these corners right here might not stick. And if you have a way of doing that, please help me out. I'm trying to glue it down, and also smear your glue off, because on the space jams that I did, the glue was thick in the middle, and now I have a hard middle. So smear it out. Don't make the same mistake I did, but um. I just wanted to let people know how to do that. I know some people don't uh, give tips on how to do that. And I know some people have been asking other people and they wouldn't tell them so. Big scissors, elementary scissors, and nail file if you want to. 
be careful, take your time. Thanks for watching my video, and thanks for showing love. Appreciate it.